this recipe, you are going to need one small eight ounce box of Jiffy corn mix. You're gonna need a can of cream style corn, one drained can of whole kernel corn, one cup of sour cream or eight ounces, a stick of melted butter. We're gonna melt this in a second. I use salted butter because my husband likes salted food, but you can use unsalted butter for healthier options. It just has to be half a cup of melted butter. And two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, but we're out of cheddar, so I will be using a Mexican blend for this recipe today. And that's it, that's all you need. It's completely up to you if you want to add the cheese inside the corn caster. I like to add just a little bit. I set my oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna bake it in there for 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice and golden brown you'll see this is what it looks like so while the oven is preheating I sprayed it with a uh, no stick cooking spray butter flavor because again we like butter and this is what it looks like so it's ready to go in there it's gonna cook for about 35 40 minutes um, I'll be showing you as it's like browning and then afterwards we're gonna take it out add a cheese layer on top and then bake it for another five minutes and then it'll be ready so our oven just rang that it is ready at 350 and I literally just put the corn casser in there so we are going to we're gonna try for 35 and then if it's still not ready, we'll do an additional five minutes. Okay, so for now, I'll talk to you. We will be seeing you later. What is that stain? So it's finally out. This is what it looks like after the five minutes that it's cooked. You can see the nice little crust, super good. It's so cheesy. I usually bake it in a dark pan or like in one of those, like those dollar store ones that you could just throw away. But I decided to bake in this so you could see like around it. Look at that is so good it's basically just cornbread with corn butter cheese and sour cream inside um that's basically the recipe it's so good we make this in thanksgiving but it's also john's favorite so and he asked me to make it like on the side with the chicken so yeah he loves corn casserole and this is the paula dean recipe i just follow it and I just tweaked it a little bit to make it my own so that is it for today's video that was the Paula Dean um, corn casserole recipe with my own little twist in it and thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something and if you make this recipe let me know or tag me on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere that you would like <laughs> let me know down in the comments below anything else that you want me to try or anything else that you want me to see. So real quick side note, I realized um, right now that I'm editing the video 
that I didn't mention that the recipe calls for and I usually bake it in a 13 by 9 inch baking pan but I decided to do this one because this one was glass and it did take me a little bit longer to bake it actually took me about 45 minutes and like I said it's usually about mm, 35 max 40 but yeah like it's never taken me this long I've even gotten it done in 30 minutes but I think it was because the dish was a lot deeper. It was like this thick and the 13 by 9 it's usually like half. So I think that had a lot to do with it. And then the top layer of the cheese. I also want to remind you that you can totally skip that. Because once it cools down it does get hard. And you know it's kind of like a just like a layer of cheese you can peel cheese uh, you know tends to do that so if you don't want to deal with that I recommend just not baking it uh, an extra five minutes with the cheese layer on top just to avoid the whole situation especially if it's your first time doing it um, but definitely do the 13 by 9 inch pan so other than that it's pretty much it good luck don't forget to tag us and subscribe down below hit the notification bell to be notified of all future videos Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, um, here, please. <laughs> we are Flower Knoxville, spelled exactly the same way as it is here across all social media. So look for us, find us, add us, and let's be friends. Become a member of our garden family. Thanks you all so much for the love and the support. Love you. Bye.